unless you're a cameraman, um, <laughs> has had something to do with helping me get made and back. Um, whether you have got me through some very difficult times over the past four years, supported us, called me, asked what we, asked what we can do, the chapters that now are inspiring us for what we're going to do next, Maiden Girls for being actually the reason why I rescued Maiden, and you know, so sort of, we all said, but it was you. Well, it, yes, but if it hadn't been for these girls, though, it would just be a boat, it would just be a lump of metal. She's Maiden because of us. Sorry. Ooh, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> 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 Maiden uh, four years ago, we knew it would probably be a bit of a hard slog. We had absolutely no idea that it was going to take four years of blood, sweat and tears and comments like from potential sponsors, that was a bit of an ego trip for you, isn't it, love? Which was my favourite, I have to say. <laughs> um, we have uh, toughed it out, we've raised money through crowdfunding. There are people amongst you, I'm not going to say who you are, who have contributed money to the project, who helped us buy the boat in October last year. There are people who have kept me sane, kept me well ish, kept me going. So thank you very much. Um, a lot of you will realise that as we were putting the Maiden Rescue Project together, we realised that that couldn't be the end of it. What were we just going to do? Rescue her and bring her back? And what were we going to do with her then? Uh, and it was Mac who said to me, I'd love to claim this idea for myself, but Mac said to me, Well, Mummy, you do so much with girls' educational stuff and charities. And why don't you use Maiden to raise money for the charities? And if we want, you know, we wanted to work with small, effective, solution-based charities, girls' charities that get girls into education. So that's how the Maiden Factor was born. Everything that we now do, the Maiden Factor, will be built around that premise. I was expelled from school when I was 15 years old. I gave away an education that some girls uh, fight for their fathers and mothers fight for. They live in cultures where they're not allowed to go to school. 69 million girls around the world don't go to school. Some of those charities are here with us today. Um, so that's the focus and, and the future moving forwards. Now, obviously we can't do that without a huge amount of support. And of course you'll remember that our biggest supporter last time was King Hussein of Jordan, His Majesty King Hussein of Jordan. And without him, Maiden wouldn't have happened. It really is as simple as that. He was our inspiration. He kept us going. Uh, Royal jo he brought Royal Jordanian Airlines in to sponsor us. He was everything that this project is. He absolutely represented who we are. And every time I felt like giving up...